tonight, Coney. How has Max Scherzer evolved over the years? Well, I think his overall command has evolved over the years. When he was young, kind of a flamethrower, but he was all over the map in terms of his control, but not anymore. He throws any pitch he wants, any time he wants. As you can see, that walk rate well below Major League average at 5%, and the K rate at 34%. This guy has not lost a step. And here's an interesting tidbit. So for the first time tonight, as you take a look at the most strikeouts in baseball history, and we go from 10 Maddox to 16 Gibson, who he just passed, he and Verlander are slowly going to continue to climb this list. Hits it where the pitch is located. And this one to center field. Nimmo now taking a step back and now stops just at the track and he basket catches it. And Mayhew is retired. And what a matchup here early. Scherzer against Judge. Swings at the first one, sends that one deep to right. Marte, though. There is the park holds it and Scherzer being helped as judge swings at the first one. Tell you what that was the location where Aaron Judge loves to have it middle up right out of the get go Max Scherzer challenging Aaron Judge just falling short of that 370 side in right field. And he found the sweet spot just a little too high, the launch angle. Huge OPS plus 36% above the average. Swings at the next one, pops this one up. And pitch comment Max Scherzer appeared to have had a successful top of the first. Six inning, six pitches in the inning, and the Yankees retired at one, two, three. Mets are coming up when we come back. Underway on a Wednesday night in New York. And a strikeout rate of almost 34% this season. Torres will pop it up. Alonzo will go over into foul territory and make the play. Getting double dose. Got a pitch come and he's getting the signs. Or he tossed it before he got to the mound. He strikes out Carpenter for a strikeout for Scherzer. And we get an update from Buster. Yeah, Carl, I wondered that too. The person who told me that Scherzer was going to try the pitch count device uh, for the first time tonight said, well, what's the over under and how quickly he gets rid of it? Because Max is so famously old school. And as you say, Nito is giving signs to Scherzer so far in this game. He is wearing the pitch count device on his right leg. Scherzer continues to work at a high tempo. And Donaldson, ahead three and one, pops it up. McNeil calls everybody off and he's there to make the play. Max Scherzer has faced six, returned them all. Bottom of the second coming up at City Field. Popped up and again shallow. This time Nimmo is in time. Higashioka right center field and shallow. Nimmo coming, so is Marte. Marte slides and makes a nice play. I think Nimmo got a great read on that. Marte charged from right field to make the play. And I wonder if Nimmo had lost the baseball once he went towards it because it just seemed like he was going to be the one that's, that was going to catch this. Comes in, he gives up, he looks over to Marte. And Marte just turned it on with the afterburners. Marte, a center fielder, playing right field for the Mets. Tremendous range. Rooting for the Mets, loves to see that. Max Scherzer picks up his second strikeout, and he wins that battle. Two men left stranded. Well, when the tough comes up, Scherzer gets even better with high-quality sliders. Which means he's thinking along or ahead of Rizzo who hits this to center, and Nimmo will make the play. Talk about game planning for Scherzer. You know, with a guy like Max Scherzer, there has to be a balance because there's so much information nowadays. Liner caught. Mario Escobar got a good read. It was not hit very hard, just 83 miles an hour off the bat. And a big smile from Escobar at third as he takes away a hit from Torres. Yeah, off-speed pitch and pump back line drive. Maybe another one. No one's there, though, and it's the left fielder coming hard. He now puts the brakes on, and Mark Canavare. 
Max Scherzer slicing through him nine pitches this inning. He had six in the first. Six home runs, 30 runs batted in on the year for Aaron Hicks, the left fielder for the Yankees tonight. Swing and a miss. He buries the slider. That's the same pitch Hicks took the last time. He swings at that. Donaldson, big lead off second. Swing and a miss. Another filthy slider. Back to back punch outs of Hicks and Kiner Falefa. Well, Scherzer's got a breaking ball package he can come at you with a curveball, a slider, and a cutter. And this is kind of in the middle with the slider at 85 miles an hour, a little bigger break. Kiner Falefa just waving at it. LeMayhew right at Lindor. 108 off his bat, and it ends up in a glove. And the Yankees' best threat of the night stranded on a line shot into the glove of Lindor. Stays two zip. That's where the numbers don't favor Aaron Judge. Wants to make sure he does not barrel anything. Felt like a slider set up, and it was a slider set up. He punches out Judge for the second time tonight. He's got five strikeouts, Scherzer. Well, the subtle little nuances of changing speeds. This one at 87 miles an hour in between the cutter and the slider. That's what Max Scherzer can give you. It's been going to the slider against Glaber. Hit on a line again. Nimmo is over there and he makes the play. Hit it hard, 94 sure. miles per hour. 110 miles an hour off the bat. Here's Kevin. Still nothing to show as of yet for the Yankees, including even though they've had a lot of hard hit baseballs. Third time he's seen Donaldson. First pitch swinging slow roller. Scherzer will go to first and that will do it. Good athleticism. Max Scherzer, he attacked that ball with all sorts of spin on it. And once again, the Yankees unable to deliver with a runner in scoring position. And the first ground ball out of the night for Scherzer. It doesn't appear as if he's available tonight. That shift against Hicks. And he hits it right into it. Lindor's going to try that flip with a glove. No, he transfers to the bare hand. He tried a flip with a glove last night. Didn't work. He goes bare hand tonight for the out. Hunter Falefa increases his hit streak to 14. First pitch, high fly, deep center, but not deep enough. Now coming in short of the track and throwing to third. Nimmo, here's Carter Falefa, and he's into third base. Got him to chase Max Scherzer. Sets down Judge for the third time. And he walks off the mound on his birthday after seven innings of shutout baseball with six strikeouts.